Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through training and educational resources. Today I have a quick tutorial on how to use the Move and Copy Modify functions in Revit. After you complete this video, you will be able to quickly move or copy elements and components. This is useful in a number of situations. To help you practice, I've included an exercise file that you can use to follow along with the video. You can now open How to Move and Copy exercise. This includes one exercise and two practice for each of the functions. Okay, great. Now that you have your file open, we can look at the first exercise, which is the Move tool. So I'm going to zoom in here, get that the middle of our screen. To move an element or component is very easy. We select the element, go up to our Modify tab, select the Move tool, click the element we want to move, and then start moving in the direction we want to go. I'm going to move this one foot six inches, and then all I do is click. The wall has moved. Now I also want to move the door and the window, so I'm going to select those items, holding my control button down as I select both, so I both completely selected. Then I can select move again, click what I'm wanting to move, one of the items, and I can move over Let's see here, we'll move 10 inches. There you go. The shortcut for move is MV. Okay, now that we have that exercise one completed, let's go over to practice exercise one move tool. Often we need to move multiple components. We can do this by selecting an item, holding control down and selecting all the other items. The other way we can do this is using a bounding box. If you use a bounding box, you're going to start from your right hold your left mouse down, pulling an imaginary box. Now everything that touches that box will be selected. Here we go. Now if I want to move these items, I can go up to the move, I can click the corner here, and then I can start moving in the direction that I want to go. Now I want to move this exactly two feet two inches. So if I type in two feet, space bar, two, enter, everything will move along, everything that I selected in that imaginary box. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now you can pause the video and try practice two on your own. Okay, how did that go? The move command is fairly easy, right? Now let's learn the copy tool. We're going to select this chair and we're going to make a copy of it. It's very easy. Once I select the chair, it's highlighted. I get my modify tab open. I go up here to this little icon, select it, click the edge of my chair, start moving in the direction that I want to go, and then when I get it into the place that I want, I just click, and there we go. Left click, and it sets the chair where I want it. Now there's some situations where I want to move the chair an exact distance from the current one. So I'm going to select this chair, I'm going to again go copy, the shortcut is CO, I'm going to select the corner and I'm going to move. This time I'm going to type in four space bar six and that will place the chair exactly four feet six inches from the original place I started. Pretty easy, right? Now let's move on to practice one. What happens when I want to copy something multiple times? It's very easy. In the table and chairs, I'm going to select it so it's highlighted. I'm going to select the copy command. Now you'll see this option bar shows up. I'm going to select and check the multiple box, go down, click on my table, and then I will move to the right six feet, and I can continue moving another six feet. It's that easy. Hit escape twice, I'm out of the command. Now let's do that with our chairs down here. This time I'm going to use a bounding box. Remember, down the lower corner, up with the imaginary box, holding your left mouse button down, select those, Go to copy, my multiple is already selected. I can click the chair, move over four feet six inches, and I can continue to do that across this space. There we go, pretty easy, right? Now at this point, pause the video and try practice number two. How did practice two go? Pretty easy, right? You are now an expert at using the move and copy modify tools in Revit. You even learned how to use a bounding box to select multiple items. Great job. Remember in this file, I have created a cheat sheet down below. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Modify tools in Revit are so helpful. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, you may find our other tutorials valuable as well. Remember, we have a special offer, all six videos on how to use the modify tools for free. Additionally, we offer several training options to help interior designers learn Revit. Our training programs are designed for all types of learning styles. If you are interested in learning Revit, we can help. GAI offers live team training programs over three to five days, individual refreshers or course customized to your specific need, and digital courses that enable you to work through your own pace. To learn more about the different training options from GAI or just want to check out more educational tutorials, visit us at www.gainteriorsolutions.com training to learn more.